good luck. Welcome back for week 150 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Oh, this is going to be an interesting fight. Um, so here we are playing against Irvin. Um, opponent at our fellow rank of one Don. And, um, yeah, this should be good fun. Um, I should focus. Just double check that my overlay is indeed kept up. Oh, I missed one detail on my overlay. Let me go fix that. Sorry about that confusion. There we go. Uh, sorry about that confusion as well. Sorry, I just put the overlay together at the last minute there, just as the challenge is being accepted. Um, I'm having some scheduling. Well, we'll get to it later. Hmm. Last week, I played two games. I offered commentary as I was playing, and I lost one of the games. Um, so my commentary might be a bit sparse as I try to remember how best to play this game. Interesting. Um, if I drop the pawn, they change their pawn and they just redrop it wherever they feel like so that there's no advantage in dropping the pawn trying to stop. Wait, wait, wait. No, I can count. I can count. Um, this delays their advancement of this, so they can't 
trivially build the fortress shape. So we're going to try to build the fortress. It's not my favorite castle, but um, it is a castle. Damn. <sighs> okay. That's legal. Um. All right, you want war? You got war, here we go. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to get complicated pretty quickly, isn't it? Thank you. 
yeah, I did not see a concrete way to capitalize on this. Welcome. We're playing a rated game here, so no giving me advice on what moves to play or anything. But yeah, this could be, it's a teaching ladder game, which means uh, each week we get to play a higher rated and a lower rated opponent. And uh, after the game, get to review it together and see what we get to learn from the experience. So here um, I've built an attack. My opponent is trying very hard to attack quickly. And I'm not making it easy for them. So let's see how this goes. If I had a pawn, I could drop it right in front of this gold general, then drop my bishop and promote it, and then come up with something clever to do next. But um, that's not where we're at. That's probably not going to happen. Meanwhile, I've made it challenging for them to build their typical castle. So, I'm doing okay. I've made it difficult for the opponent to build their typical castle in this position. Um, so, I'm curious if they'll try to build it anyway. Or how it is that they'll go about trying to play this position. They did push this edge pawn, which means if my king goes into this castle, they are one move faster in the end game there. But that's an end game sort of move, and I am attacking right here and right now. So, um, possibly the end game move was a bit premature. Maybe. I'm debating if I move the silver, do I move it like this way? move the knight, and then move the silver up again. But then they might defend this, and the knight might be unable to move easily. And that gets complicated. Um, last turn I debated dropping the bishop here, forking the rook and the gold, and possibly sacrificing this and trying to open the center of this position. And it was just too much to ask of this particular structure, I think. Um, so, we're trying to build up a stable shape some other way. It might take a couple moves, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's not easy to build a stable shape. All right, fine. I'll return the favor. You push down this edge, I'll push on that edge. Hmm. It's not the same.
So, yeah, this is a tricky position. This pawn is still hanging. I can still take it eventually, or quicker if I really want to. Um, if an opponent gets a knight, that could be a problem. So maybe I do need to build the fortress after all. The fortress is not the shape I tend to build. I don't know a ton about it, but um, opponents seem to like it a lot. It can't be a bad shape. But also I could just move this gold up one, and then I'm not sure what's going to defend this point. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> Playing with fire, are we? I approve. All right. Very well. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. So I should just take this pawn and then drop a bishop here and take that and drop and take and push and like the attack plays itself here. The only question is do I have a better attack than that? Um, maybe. Maybe I drop the bishop first. Rook moves I take here. King takes I take this. Um, that might be a clearer path. The material count at some point ceases to matter, I think. I could be wrong. And this is me, a chess player, saying this sort of thing, so, like, there's got to be some grain of truth to it. Um, chess players don't like to give away pieces, so. Here I am. I sacrificed material. And I'm ready to sacrifice more material. If I drop here, how does this work? <sighs> I thought I knew. I thought I was certain about how this worked. Uh, now I see knight takes. Um, hmm. That's a bit concerning. Knight takes, pawn takes, silver takes, pawn drop, silver takes, pawn drop, silver advances. Okay, so I'm down a lot of material with basically nothing to show for it. Uh, that's cool, I guess. I guess I didn't prepare my attack well enough. Um... Now they'll just drop a pawn, and my attack dies. So I've lost a knight. I exchanged a bishop for a gold general, and I lost a knight. Mm -hmm. That said, with, with one, two, three, four, five moves, I could get my silvers into action. 
but that's five entire moves. Um, and presumably the opponent can launch some kind of attack in that same time. So, this is not good. Um, on the other hand, I have dealt a severe blow to their castle. Um, but it's just kind of like the front door of the castle. They'll recover from it. I thought they had to do silver takes earlier, and then I exchange here at breakthrough, but I didn't see this variation. Hmm. I guess a bishop drop could fork my pieces, can't it? Hmm, but the rook's not going anywhere, so do I care? Well, no, the bishop loses its value the instant it's dropped. Like, it has so much potential in the hand, and once it's on the board, it's a target. So I could push this voluntarily, force them to break that up, and then hit the bishop. Yeah, there's things I can do. Um, so this bishop drop is not decisive. And even if it like did win the rook, I would just like get my silver up here and try to launch an attack, but it's kind of sad. It's a pretty sad attack. Um, I'm also threatening like a pawn drop here, a pawn drop there sort of thing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this fork. I thought they would fork me a different way. Um, I think it's still the same remedy, though. I push here. If silver takes, then I move sidestep. Um, because bringing the silver up and exchanging my rook for a bishop doesn't I don't know. It's good to activate my silver, but everything starts hanging when I do that, and a rook is the right piece for them to attack me. Hmm. Wait, do I want to push this? Why would I want to push that? to try to induce a weakness, but it doesn't work. Hmm. What a mess. All right, so I think, despite this being really messy, I think that's best. I don't want this bishop swarming my position. And if they want to drop the other bishop and get things exchanged, I can maybe live with that. I'm not even sure how that works, but whatever that is, I'm probably okay with it. Um...
I guess I forgot that's possible. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I still want to use the silver. Really, I should have moved this way earlier before I started sacrificing material. But it's fine. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Time will tell. This Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Hmm, let's see what we can do. Long term, if I don't push that, there's lots of problems. Pushing this does bring its own host of problems, but no move is perfect.
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒<laughs> uh, so many shapes are possible. Sanjudio. Yonjudio. Hmm. All right, we're playing the Flying V Castle. <laughs> the Flying V. Because it's knuckle puck time. ご I mean, that's a mistake. Unless I'm miscalculating. Um. Maybe I miscalculated. 30 Hmm. It's not simple. Yeah, they can promote their bishop, I guess. Oh, this is kind of muddy.
30秒40秒50秒 1. Yeah, I guess we'll be generous and let the other bishop promote while we're at it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen with two horses running around? Mm. The bishop can run over here, can't it? Oh, I missed that. Um, I missed this move. Okay. Well, things are about to get critical then. Thirty-five. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit, I don't know, irked that I missed that move. Um, hmm. Hmm. This doesn't work, but I'm trying it anyway. I don't know why I'm trying it. Hmm. Well, it can't be a total loss, but mm, it's not good. Yeah, that's such... I don't know. I found a way to activate my rook. It's painful. But we're doing it, so... The only reason I blitzed out those four moves is because I saw this one and I thought they might not have seen this in the next things that are going to follow here. Not that I have a perfect answer here, but 
like the king is right in the middle of this. Um, maybe I missed a shot. Maybe I should have dropped the bishop and then done this. But my attack should still be good. But it might have been much stronger if I had dropped the bishop first, even though that's extremely dangerous. Um, maybe that would have been the right way to approach this. I don't know. But yeah, this anchor is still making it difficult for them to protect this. I guess they could drop a knight to try to hold this. Um. Hmm. They should, actually. I'm not being objective. I'm seeing what I want to see, which is not exactly how objective reasoning works. Um. So I could probably drop something here, or here. It's not clear. Um, this looks interesting. I mean, where else am I going to use a pawn anyway? I could drop the bishop here, then the king runs away. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I got some text message. It's a busy day, it's a busy weekend, but, um, it's possible my post-game analysis might get cut quite short. Or we might do the post-game analysis later, if uh, real-life circumstances force me to do it later. Time zone-wise, it might be best to do it later anyway. Yeah, so this is what I was looking at. The rook dropped. And then we exchange here. Knight takes and gold takes, rook takes, that takes. But I could drop a pawn first. They take a lance and then we do all this. That's what I was planning. And suddenly this point is quite vulnerable. Oh, maybe I'm just hallucinating. Night takes. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I am just hallucinating. This felt really strong in the moment, but uh, I don't know. 
30秒。うーん。Yeah, this doesn't work.40 秒。I thought this worked, but, um, yeah. No, this. Ah,、uh, this is not good enough. Um, it would be awesome if it were good enough, but I just can't see a way to continue this attack. Well, let's have a little imagination, shall we? Um, I get one pawn. I'm always bad at these using.、Uh, Calculating where I collect pieces and then I'm able to use them. It's always been just a thing I've not been perfect at calculating.、Um, and so here I forgot that I can just use the pawn that I just got and that could amplify my attack a little bit.、Um, Yeah, I might have to go momentarily. Let's see. All right, so. Interesting. Sharp stuff for sure.、Um, hmm. All right. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to play here. 30 seconds. My mouse got stuck there. One second.
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒30秒。Sorry for sparse commentary. I'm trying to check my voicemail at the moment.30秒。40秒。I think I have checkmate.
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1234567秒。1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8三十秒。四十秒三十秒四十秒五十秒一二三四五六七三十秒
40秒50秒12345678 That doesn't stop my mate threat. Um so I guess I'm just going to go checkmate my Well, do I have a mate threat? I could swear I did. Yeah, of course I do. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Um, I misread a detail here. Uh... Well, wait a... Okay. Uh, right. Reading is hard. Okay. <laughs> I was reading some stupidly long variation and I missed that. Oh, that was an exciting game.